Melachim Shani, 2 Kings 19. And it came to pass, when King Yahiz Kiyahu heard it, that he rent at his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth, and went into the house of Yahuwah. And he sent at Elachim, which was over the household, and Shivna, the scribe, and at the elders of the priests, covered with sackcloth, to El Yashayahu, the prophet of the son of Amots. And they said unto him, Thus says Yahiz Kiyahu, This day is a day of trouble, and of rebuke, and blasphemy. For the children are come to the birth, and there is not strength to bring forth. It may be Yahuwah Eloheka will hear at all the words of Rav Shache, whom the king of Ashur, his master, has sent to reproach the living Elohim, and will reprove the words which Yahuwah Eloheka has heard. Wherefore, lift up your prayer for the remnant that are left. So the servants of King Yahi Kiziahu came to Yeshayahu, and Yeshayahu said unto them, Thus shall ye say to your master, Thus says Yahuwah, Be not afraid of the words which you have heard, which with the servants of the king of Asher, rather, Asher, have blasphemed me. Behold, I will send a blast upon him, and he shall hear a rumor, and shall return to his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. So Rav Shache returned, and found at the king of Ashashur, warring against Livna, for he had heard that he was departed from Lachish. And when he heard say of Turhaka, king of Cush, behold, he is come out to fight against you. He sent messengers again unto Yahiz Kiyahu, saying, Thus shall ye speak to Yahiz Kiyahu, king of Yahudah, saying, Let not your Elohim, in whom you trust, deceive you, saying, Yerushalayim shall not be delivered into the hand of the king of Ashashur. Behold, you have heard at what the kings of Ashashur have done to all lands by destroying them utterly, and shall you be delivered? Have the Elohim of the nations delivered them which my fathers have destroyed, as Eth Gozan, and Eth Haran, and Resef, and the children of Idan? which were in Tel Asar. Where is the king of Hamath, and the king of Arpad, and the king of the city of Sepharim, rather, Sephar Vaim of Hina and Ava? And Yahiz Kiyahu received at the Sefer of the hand of the messengers and read it. And Yechiz Kiyahu went up into the house of Yahuwah and spread it before Yahuwah. And Yechiz Kiyahu prayed before Yahuwah and said, O Yahuwah Elohai, of Yashara'el, which dwells between the Keravim, you are the Elohim, even you alone. Of all the kingdoms of the earth, you have made us the heavens and us the earth. Yahuwah, bow down your ear and hear. Open, Yahuwah, your eyes and see. And hear us the words of King Chechiv, which has sent him to reproach the living Elohim. Of a truth, Yahuwah, the kings of Ashashur, 
rather, Ashur have destroyed Eth the nations and Eth their lands, and have cast Eth their Elohim into the fire, for they were no Elohim, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore they have destroyed them. Now therefore, O Yahuwah Eloheinu, I beseech you, save us out of his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you are Yahuwah Elohim, even you only. Then Yahshayahu, the son of Emotz, sent to Yahiz Kiyahu, saying, Thus says Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael, that which you have prayed to me against Kanchaziv, king of Ashur, I have heard. This is the word that Yahuwah has spoken concerning him, the virgin, the daughter of Sion, has despised you and laughed you to scorn. The daughter of Yerushalayim has shaken her head at you. Eth, whom have you reproached and blasphemed? And against whom have you exalted your voice and lifted up your eyes on high, even against the Holy One of Yashara'el? By your messengers you have reproached Adonai and have said, With the multitude of my chariots I am come up to the height of the mountains, to the sides of Lebanon, and will cut down the tall cedar trees thereof, and the choice fir trees thereof, and I will enter into the lodgings of his borders, and into the forest of his Carmel. I have dug and drunk strange waters, and with the sole of my feet have I dried up all the rivers of besieged places. Have you not heard long ago how I have done it, and of ancient times that I have formed it? Now, how have I brought it to pass that you should be to lay waste fenced cities into ruinous heaps. Therefore their inhabitants were of small power. They were dismayed and confounded. They were as the grass of the field, and as the green herb, as the grass of the housetops, and as grain blasted before it be grown up. But I know your abode, and your going out, and your coming in, and eth your rage against me, because your rage against me and your tumult is come up into my ears. Therefore, I will put my hook in your nose and my bridle in your lips, and I will turn you back by the way by which you came. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall eat this year such things as grow of themselves. And in the second year that which springs of the same. And in the third year sow ye, and reap, and plant vineyards, and eat the fruits thereof. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Yahudah shall yet again take root downward, and bear fruit upward. For out of Yerushalayim shall go forth a remnant, and they that escape out of Mount Sion, the zeal of Yahuwah Savaot, shall do this. Therefore, thus says Yahuwah concerning the king of Ashur, he shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shield, nor cast a bank against it. By the way that he came, by the same shall he return, and shall not come into this city, says Yahuwah. I will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. And it came to pass that night that the angel of Yahuwah went out 
and smote in the camp of Ash-Sharim a hundred fourscore and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. So, Can Sharif, king of Ashur, departed and went and returned and dwelt at Nineveh. And it came to pass, as he was worshipping in the house of Nikrach, his Elohim, that Adramelech and Shar Atzer, his sons, smote him with the sword, and they escaped into the land of Ararat, and Izkar Chadon, his son, reigned in his stead.